I'm here backstage with John Aerosmith, who is, uh, are you the chief technician for Pyro tonight? Uh, the chief technician, I suppose, and the uh, shooter. Okay. Now, obviously when people do Fourth of, uh, well, Canada Day, 4th of July, you're set up in an area where no one's allowed to be, you know, and you launch your stuff. Yeah, how did you get in here? <laughs> <laughs> but with this kind of show, you've got artists on stage you're responsible for an audience so are there extra kind of precautions you have to take with the with the pyro tonight well it's uh, pretty much standard there's the regulations you have to follow with the fire departments worldwide and and uh, and then just common sense really and it's just you know you don't want to shoot things straight out to the audience and you want to make sure your band members are clear when it's time for a cue and and uh, just, just make sure it's a fun happy rock show now I notice that you're making sure that you coordinate certain colors, so you've obviously got a color scheme and things like that that you want to work here. Yeah, this particular Canadian leg has been, uh, it was designed by Tristan Ford, and he, uh, <coughs> excuse me, he, uh, yeah, he designed this show, and uh, he coordinated all the colors and the cues and, and all that to go with for this particular tour. And you guys are a Canadian company. We are a Canadian company based out of Markham. Okay, excellent. What other groups have you been out with on uh, big pyro tours? Uh, well, big pyro tours or just any tour? Any. Well, I recently finished uh, nine months with Tina Turner and I was out with Rush a few times and Metallica and uh, Shania Twain, another great Canadian. Now, what happened, like, like let's say you met, we all know the famous uh, Big O story with Kirk, uh, it was Kirk Hammond who got oh, blasted actually, by something. Was that just a miscue that, that was, night? That was James, the guitar player, the singer. Right, right. And, uh, and that was a different pyro company, I might add, <laughs> long ago. And they, uh, from what I hear, it was, a mis it was just a bad timing for both of them. Uh, James stepped where he shouldn't have, and he fired when he shouldn't have. So it was just a, you know, one of those beep happens kind of moment. Yeah, yeah, that know. led to a famous big O yes. incident. And he will forever uh, be known for that, sadly. <laughs> Same as the guy that uh, did Michael Jackson's hair. Right. Which... Okay, I don't remember his name, but either way, if you meet him, you're the guy. It's not working today, is he? No, no, not that I know of. <laughs> Great. Um, is this a lot of fun to do this kind of stuff, or is it just work? It looks like work right uh, now. It certainly work. That's the downside of it. Um, but the, uh, the the upside, is, especially with Kiss, is it's, you, know, you get lots of toys to play with. Some tours you don't have as many. This one's got sometimes too many. But nonetheless, in the end, it's fun. You know? Great. It's, it's fun. If we, weren't, if we weren't enjoying it, we probably wouldn't be here. Thanks a lot for this time and showing us how it all works. All right. Have fun tonight. Thank you. You too.